Are you curious where people are moving here from? We are going to be talking about the top states yep. people are relocating in North Carolina from in today's video, so stick around. All right, so we're going to go over the top five states that people are moving to North Carolina from and we're going to start with the one that is bringing the most people here yeah. down the list so the top state is florida which is which is kind of somewhat surprising to me um but i mean when you look at the reasons why it makes sense yeah for sure i mean we have worked with a lot of people from florida i think yeah. in general there's this assumption that everybody moving here is just from california yeah um, which is going to make it in our list it is. but it's not in the top spot which is interesting all right so the top reasons people are moving from florida really have to do with crazy insurance prices so if you're following and i mean this is really a national trend yeah we even see it in our area but home insurance policies or premiums are like skyrocketing rocketing right now yeah. and especially in the state of Florida right. um, and so that that's one of the major reasons also overcrowding if you've if you've been to Florida recently the traffic is horrendous yeah yeah driving like it's around awful. Tampa or Orlando it is pretty rough getting yeah. around and so, in some parts of Florida yeah. so I think it feels like maybe some areas are becoming for people that maybe are not new to the area and not used to that or don't want that to be a part of their lifestyle yeah. they're like i'm ready to get out of here yeah. it's too many new people and i think you know what's shocking about florida being the top of the list is if you look at reports of where people are moving to the most texas florida and north carolina top those lists but for us florida is also the top of the list where people are moving from yeah. and i think yeah, a lot of that has to do with the migration into florida is also causing migration out, out of Florida. Florida. Yeah, so. for sure, for sure. And about 35,000 people have moved to North Carolina from Florida in the last year, which yeah, is a pretty big yeah. amount of people. And we feel it on, on our end, out of the areas where we get the most reach outs from, I would say California is third on, or um, Florida's third on that list. Yeah, yeah, so. I would say so. So next on our list is actually a pretty close second to Florida. And yep. it's surprising, I think, to me, it's Virginia. Yeah. Um, about 34,000 people. So about 35,000 from Florida yeah. and 34 from Virginia. So practically the same amount. I bet the bulk of those are from the DC metro area where right. home prices are just insane. Yeah. So, so that's going to be your big reason why that, I mean, we're just coming up with reasons why we think yeah. people might be moving, but you know, we have worked with some people from the DC metro yeah. area um, that, you know, maybe after COVID all of a sudden it's, you know, I don't really have to stay here anymore. I could yeah. work remotely now. So why continue yeah. living in a place that's, you know, maybe hard to commute around to, yep. has a lot of high cost of living and yeah. things like that. They want to be somewhere a little quieter, calmer, yeah, um, exactly. and can continue working their same job. And it's really not that far away. Virginia's just one state above us. So yeah. it's not like a huge change in like yeah. where you're located. Yeah. When you think of like, if you have the option to do remote work and you live in DC and you can go essentially five hours south and have a better quality of life because cost of living is lower, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And yeah. it's a little warmer too, which is nice. It's not, not like, substantially. Not sub yeah, it's, winter. <laughs> I mean, it's a little better. Um, so yeah. less windy, <laughs> less wind tunnels with all the big buildings and everything. But yeah, so we do have a lot of yeah. people moving from Virginia and I yeah. would speculate it's mostly from the DC area. Yeah. All right, next on the list is another neighboring state, which is South Carolina. This one shocked me a lot. Yeah, well, I, I think the reason for this is when you look at South Carolina and the number of metro South Carolina has, I mean, you really have Charleston, Columbia, and Greenville, but in North Carolina, yeah. you have a lot more. You have Asheville, you have the Triad, which is like the Greensboro, High Point, Winston-Salem area. You have Charlotte, you have the Triangle where we are, you have Wilmington, too. So yeah. There's a lot more like epicenters for uh, jobs and just economic growth that I think North Carolina offers that South Carolina doesn't necessarily have. Yeah, so. that's true. And I think it just feels familiar, you know, yeah. it's like so close. It doesn't feel like you're moving that far away. So maybe it yeah. just feels like a convenient move or maybe some people just have have lived in South Carolina, but they have family up in North Carolina. So it could just be like a, a family move yeah. closer. So don't have like super specific reasons. Yeah. Obviously most places in South Carolina are gonna be a little cheaper than they are here yeah. or comparable. Um, so yeah, it's kind of an interesting one. Yeah, and it's interesting. We have not worked with anyone, I don't think from South no, Carolina. I don't and think so we have. That's the only state on the list that we have not actually worked with someone from. So yeah, we've worked with some people that have moved to like Greenville, South Carolina, yeah. but not yeah. from, so yeah. it's interesting. It is. By the way, this video is blowing your mind. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below. We do videos like this on a weekly basis. You like the video and hit the subscribe button. 
All right, so number four on the list yep. is New York with about 25,000 people that yep. have moved to North Carolina from New York over the last year. And this makes a lot of sense. So um, about, I, I would say on our list of the number of folks who reach out to us from these areas, New York is number two. Yeah, so probably so. That, that region, like the, the Northeast, New York, New Jersey, kind of that, that, that same region. But the reason for folks moving from that region have to do with uh, high taxes, high cost of living, and yeah. so they're coming here essentially to avoid right. that. Weather, so, being weather, closer to family, yeah. like just a whole lot of different reasons. But again, like people can work remotely now. So if yeah. you don't have to stay there, why deal with it, yeah. right? Like yeah. why deal with it being like harder to afford anything? Yeah. So it makes sense, it makes sense. And I think too, when it comes to folks moving here from New York, a lot of folks we work with are moving from some of the more urban areas in New York. So yeah. not necessarily like the countryside of New York State, but like actual New York City or some of the more right. densely populated areas. And so a place like Raleigh is not as densely populated. There's a lot more nature, there's a lot more outdoor activities you can do. And so that's, I think that's appealing for folks who yeah. live in some of these more densely populated urban centers. Definitely, yeah, to have a lot more like open green space. Yeah. I think it feels a little cleaner and just like better quality of yeah. life. Yeah. All right. Next up on the list is California. So Finally. That, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, and it's funny because out of the folks who find us on YouTube and reach out to us, I would say the vast majority are from California. Yes. Like one in, honestly, like one in five roughly are from the state of California. And so, but on this list, when it looks at the numbers of who's moving to the state, California's number five coming in at, I think 22,000. Yeah. yeah. 22,000 for sure. Yeah. I think a lot of the reasons why people are moving from California, you have obvious things like obviously it's extremely expensive to live in California. Yep. It's hard to afford a home. So people maybe have been renting for a really long time or stuck in a house that just feels really small. They don't feel like they have the space that they need and they want a yard, yeah. they want more square footage, you know? So obviously moving out of California yep. helps that. But then sadly, a lot of the people we talk to say, you know, I've been here for decades or maybe yeah. I even grew up here and it doesn't feel safe anymore. There's just too yeah. much crime going on. Um, it just hot taxes. Yeah. A lot of political stuff yeah. and they just are ready to be done with it. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And, and another thing, I mean, this is kind of similar to what we talked about with New York, high taxes, lower cost of living here. Um, so I think all that feeds into it. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. sure. And I'm sure it's hard to leave somewhere that's like yeah. sunny all the time and has generally pretty good weather, but they also have dealt with a lot of bad like natural disaster type stuff extreme drought you know we've got people that have dealt with wildfires yeah. in their area and they're just tired of like the constant fear of like yeah. is that gonna is this gonna happen like to my house or you know how is this gonna impact yeah. us um you know we got people that came in and the whole time they were visiting it was raining and we're like sorry that it's raining the whole time like, this is the best thing i've seen like i haven't seen rain in forever so yeah. um you know we don't really deal with that like extreme weather um, or extreme drought and things like that here yeah. in North Carolina. Yeah, exactly. But when you look at North Carolina in general, we're top three states people are migrating to. It's typically Texas, Florida, and then North Carolina on the list. Right. And these are the states they are coming from, each I think for its own various reasons, but it is really fascinating to, 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 to see the, the patterns. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And to see where things, you know, I think it's interesting that I think Florida is the top because I yeah. think there's, like I mentioned in the beginning, like it feels like when you when people are like venting about how many people are moving to the area or something like that, it's like all these people from California. Yeah. So it's kind of funny that it's actually number five on the list and quite a, quite a bit fewer people than just from Florida. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. I'm Zach, this is my beautiful wife, Cindy. We are a couple of real estate agents in the area. If you have questions about the area or maybe you're from one of these states and you are considering moving into the area, uh, we would love to be your real estate resource of choice. You can reach out to us at the contact info below. You can also find us on Instagram. Yep, you can join us over on Instagram at The Honeycut Realtors or yep. our website, honeycutteam.com and we would love to connect with you. Yeah, and we will see y'all next time.